The Shoals Country 103.5, WLAYFM, Luke Bryan, and Drunk on You. I'm Kevin Horton. My pleasure to welcome to the studio this afternoon, Brand X. Who do I talk to first? Why, it's Jamie Copeland. Jamie used to work with us here at the radio station many years ago. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey there, guy. How you doing? I'm wonderful. You know, we're like 48 hours away from the big day. And this is the first time uh, that I've been to the Spirit of Freedom where I weren't on your side of the microphone. Yeah. You told me that you and a girl that used to work with us actually emceed the very, or, yeah, the, the very first one. The very first one at McFarland Park. And uh, that, I think they'd done like three at, at uh, Spring Park prior to that. And then the very first one over there. So it was an all day. I do not envy you. You know how tough it is. I do. Yeah, it originated at Spring Park. I wasn't around uh, back then, but uh, I guess somebody said, hey, we need more room. Right, and they did, and boy, did they get it. Yeah. It Beautiful sure place to, to play a show. Yeah, and man, with that breeze coming off the river, and it's a lot of fun. It's going to be hot, but uh, we're going to have some hot music, too. Yeah, we got Brand X, and um, you, you've got your whole entourage. The entourage here is you. here. Uh, anybody missing? We are missing TJ. Beasley, right? Uh, and remember, uh, we discussed this on the way over here. We cannot hear you nod. Uh, with us, though, we've got Ricky McDaniel, Eric McDaniel, and uh, also Randall Baker, who is the the singer for the band. And I'm going to step out of the way and introduce Ricky to you. Hey, Ricky Daniel McDaniel, how are you, man? Doing fine. Good so, to be here. I'm glad to have you. So you kind of put this whole crazy thing together, huh? Yeah, a little while back, we started Brand X back in the mid-90s, and it's been an evolving band ever since. Uh, we try to keep up with all the good music that everybody likes to hear, country music, southern rock, blues, rock and roll. It's all mixed together on the album we just came out with. And the band does not consist of a bunch of greenhorns. You know, y'all have been around for a long, long time. How did Brand X come to be? Well, it was a compilation of uh, several different situations over the years, and uh, the X part of the band started out with me and a buddy of mine that was a left-handed guitar player. Our guitar and X would be bumping together oh, every yeah. time we were playing on a little small stage, so we'd stick our guitar and X up in the air, and there was the X. Hey, are you serious? That's it, man. That's Brand X. That sounds too ridiculous to be a lie. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> brand X. I like that. And so you're, you're a little bit of country, you're a little bit of R&B, a little bit of rock and roll. The early influences were the Marshall Tucker, Almond Brothers, Leonard Skinner sounds, and Merle Haggard, and Johnny Waylon Cash. Jennings, Johnny Cash, Hank Jr. We do some B.B. King. We even throw Kid Rock and, and a few other great artists in there that keep a big mix in the stew. What about Justin Bieber? Now, we haven't done any Justin yet, but he's welcome to come down to the Oasis where we play every Saturday night and get up and do one with us if he'd like to. <laughs> what a train wreck that would be. Yeah, he makes the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then y'all just so happened to find uh, Donnie Gullett and Travis Wamack over there at the studio, and y'all came up with something. Yes, sir. They've been a great help for us. Uh, without them, I don't know if we could have completed our first album here. Donnie was a great, great help in every aspect of the album. We've even got him playing tracks on it with us. And also, Mr. Travis Womack's playing slide guitar on one of our songs on the album also. That sweetened it up a little bit, didn't it? That was great. Uh, yeah. we, we really appreciate Travis and Donnie extremely. And I hope to be able to pay them back one of, our, one of these days for all their help and good work that they've done with us. Well, with your band, I mean, how many are y'all like Leonard Skinner? Do you got three guitar players out front? What are you doing? We got uh, three guitar players out front, a keyboard, bass, drums, and every once in a while we've got a good friend of ours that plays harmonica with us. I bet y'all play in some places where you're shoulder to shoulder, aren't you? Exactly. That's how Brand X was originated, those guitar necks bumping heads all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love having y'all here, and there's a particular single off the uh, album, which is titled, by the way, what? Well, the title of the album is One Too Many. The first track is called Get Right. It's a cross with southern rock and country. You can hear anything from Leonard Skinner to Shenandoah in that song, and uh, we hope everybody likes that. But the title track is called One Too Many. It's a heartfelt country, real country song. Who wrote it? I did. You did? All right. And my son wrote the first track, Get Right, when he was a, a teenager. That's the one I'm going to spin right now. Thank y'all for coming by here. 
Uh, we we appreciate you having us, Kevin, and without all of your help, we probably wouldn't get this far either. We, oh, yeah. we want to thank you very much. Well, rock on, man. We'll see y'all. Brand X at McFarland Park on the stage this coming Wednesday, July 4th. We get look it right. forward to being there. Thank you. This certainly has a uh, Southern Rock feel to it. Brand X, get right on 103.5 WLAY FM. Ladies and gentlemen, from the hit recording capital of the world, Muscle Shoals own Brand X. I'm 